breath. Into Om. Um. This is a fun little experiment right now. You might see us looking in different directions. We have four different lives going on simultaneously. <laughs> Mystic, Misfit, and all of our personals. This is awesome. This so there's, is rad. there's no chance you don't catch this powerful <laughs> message, which we're gonna be going into this mm. evening, and that is, what is social magnetism? What are the divine masculine and feminine energies? Mm -hmm. And what is the polarity that draws them together and pushes them mm -hmm. apart? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this can be both with like intimate sexual relationships or just relationships in general, whether that's your coworkers, your friends, your families, your dog. Yeah. <laughs> There's something there for sure to be explored. And then social magnetism mm -hmm. is kind of that core foundational piece that ties it all together as well. How can you be so magnetizing socially that people are drawn to you? So what I just did right there is I was listening intently on Jordan's mm -hmm. words I was receiving, so to speak. He was having a masculine presence. I was having a feminine presence. I was listening to him very deeply. Yeah. Now where the magnetism comes in is in his expression, how powerful, how succinct it is, how captivating his words are. And then on when it's my turn, if I can reflect back to him, wow, I really not only heard you, I felt you, yeah. and I have something powerful to contribute. Mm -hmm. That's where this arc begins, this this social magnetism, this yep. pull, this dance. Mm. And that, I love that you said arc because it is an arc. Like electricity, an arc is like a stream of electrons or energy that's forming between two poles and that's exactly what this is. We happen to live in a universe, a place that is dual. There's duality. There are men and women, there's day and night. There's the sun, the moon, king and queen. There's this type of energy that we find ourselves in that allows polarity to manifest mm. because there's a dance. There's an interplay, a dynamic dance that occurs between these two types of energy. One, as Ryan is saying, is receptive. The other is creative. Mm -hmm. is a way to think about this. And so what we're going to be getting into tonight on this live Zoom call with our ladies over at Rising She Tribe is the ins and outs of this whole process, how presence plays into this, how you can recognize when you are in a masculine or feminine energy and the person that you're relating to, what energy they're in, and how you can be aware of that and act accordingly in a way that promotes connection and love and magnetism. Mm, and this is going to be fun. It is going to be I'm fun. I'm excited. Why don't we get into a quick description of the difference between masculine energy and feminine energy? Because I yes. feel like that's extremely important just uh, for the, the, the topic of polarity. I feel like sure. you give a pretty good little riff on yeah, that. Yeah, all right. So first off, like masculine, that is that is pure consciousness. That It's that which remains unchanging, mm -hmm. right? It's the mm -hmm. rock. It's, it's at times is rational, mm -hmm. at times it's logical. It's very, very, it's, it's grounded, it's very firm, right? That's the masculine mm -hmm. presence. The feminine is that which is always changing. It's emotion, mm -hmm. it's love, it's filling of the body, it's the ocean, mm -hmm. it's emotions in your body. Energy in motion. It's energy. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And so those two forces, when they combine, you know, we all have the ability to tap into those. Mm -hmm. So if someone says, ah, oh, I don't got no feminine in me. Well, if you don't have any emotions, yeah, you probably don't have any feminine in you. And then guess what? You're a boring fucking person. Well, guess yeah, what? you're probably not human. You're not a human being, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's not that. possible. So we should say that masculine and feminine energy, actually, <clears throat> though they are very tied to, have nothing to do with men and women, yes. Yes. physical bodies or gender. They're mutually exclusive. Yes, mm -hmm. we have both within, within us, and you have the ability to tap into both. Now. Yeah. Some men may only be aware of their masculine energy and may not realize they're in a feminine state. Mm -hmm. Some women may be identified completely with their feminine state and not realize they have these masculine mm -hmm. tendencies, powers. And like Ryan's saying, masculine energy is that which is unchanging, pure consciousness and presence. And so examples of this are like 
the strong will to complete a goal, the yeah. strong directive, creative, dynamic energy. Whereas the feminine energy is that which is always changing, like nature. That's why we call the ocean a female. We call mm. the earth a mother. Mother nature, mm. yeah. It's feminine, natural, pure, changing energy. And so the, com the combination of them is what creates this dynamic interaction mm. that we call polarity, magnetism. Yeah. It can be very like attractive and powerful mm. like in romance, or it can be very opulsive and very like, yeah. like kind of pushing away like many mm. people you see great, great artists and speakers, politicians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a spectrum, right? It's, it, there can be extreme masculine energy and extreme feminine energy and everything in between. It can be kind yeah. of a neutral zone. Watch two people in like a real wicked debate. Yeah. Watch them. Watch how the forces seem to be like bouncing against each other. Yeah. And whoever's force seems to be more powerful tends to win. The person might get rocked by a very powerful expression. All of a sudden, uh, they're backpedaling. Whoa! They kind of became into their feminine. They yeah. were receiving. They were. They maybe got emotional, right? And when you see two people, two like masculine forces bouncing against each other, it actually doesn't feel that good. It doesn't feel very harmonious. However, when you see two masculine forces in unity in a team and combining that energy towards directive, that shit's yeah. powerful. Totally. Yeah. I think at our highest, this is what we channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why we bring up the divine masculine. And not to say that the other masculine isn't divine. It's just we use the word divine to indicate the highest expression yeah. of a said quality. So yes. a divine masculine energy is humble, yet powerful like a warrior directed in their purpose and energy. The divine feminine mm -hmm. might be a feminine force that while fully expressing emotion and that changing nature is humble and is loving all beings and not expressing mm -hmm. it in a negative way. So this is really the art of polarity or the art of social magnetism that we've yeah. so delved into specifically this year but really the past several years yeah. and what we feel so called to do and share with the world and what we'll be sharing tonight mm -hmm. 6 p.m pacific time the rising she tribe we're going to mm -hmm. post the link to get on that zoom call for you ladies out there in the comments of these videos so you can claim your spot and join us it's going to be a powerful discussion yeah, yeah. and this Come is a, it is a women's only discussion it is. i believe yes. so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so calling all women it's going to be a fun time and yeah, we'll get, we don't want to give away too much yeah. more. It's a good little teaser. We'll if you, you feel tonight. called, click that link. Join the Rising She Tribe. We'll see you there tonight. Until next time. Yes. We are the Mystic Misfits. Mm. Love mm. you guys. Yeah. See We're you tonight. We're going to attempt to end all four of these at once. <laughs>